Everybody has a story to tell about their life. This type of story is called an autobiography. Melissa G. Wilson here. Like any good story, there needs to be some sort of outcome to it that offers a thought or teaches a lesson. It should be entertaining, but also as factual as possible. This means knowing how to start writing a book about your life can be a tricky experience. Here are some steps to help you get started. Number one, get to know what it means to be a writer. In order for your book to be written, you must become a writer. How this feels is different to each person. One of the best ways to get started is to read the autobiographies that others have written. This can help you see the structure of this book and help you to find your writing voice. Then begin to practice writing so that you can discover how to incorporate your writing voice into the story of your life. Number two, know who will be reading your book. Even though this is the story of your life, it must be told in such a way that the intended audience will understand what you are conveying in your writing. Are you trying to market your story so that it can be mass published? When you know who will be reading your book, you'll have a better idea of what stories you should include within it. Number three, create a core concept to tell. What have you learned so far during your life? What lessons do you wish to offer to others? Create one core idea for your story. It can be a tale of perseverance, overcoming hardships, or some other theme that is important to you. Without this theme, your life story becomes more of a set of short memoirs rather than a full book. Number four, research yourself. Your memories are the foundation of your life story. The only problem with memories is that they tend to fade over time. This means it becomes necessary to research yourself so that you can be as accurate as possible. Interview your family and friend. Look at family photos. Tell the stories you've always told one more time. Look at your letters, blog posts, and other items you've created over the years. This will help you tell your story with more consistency. Number five, get organized. An autobiography is usually a story that has a natural beginning and ending. You were born, you live through today. This creates a natural chronology, but this isn't the only way to write an autobiography. You can also tell the story in a way that offers a natural progression to the lessons you wish to offer to a reader. If you're overcoming an addiction, for example, the logical start to the story might be the reasons why you feel that you embrace the addiction in the first place. Number six, stay focused. When you tell someone a story, it's easy to get sidetracked and to go off on a tangent. This might be fine if you're telling the story in person, but it can be distracting when you're writing a book about your life. Keep your focus and stay true to the ideas that you wish to convey. It is important to remember that this is a story to a reader. Follow these steps and you will be off to a good start. Thank you. Here's to your publishing success. Until next time, this is Melissa G. Wilson from networlding.com.